Hey everybody. Hi. So we are doing a fried chicken mukbang. Mm. No. 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 Sorry. No. No, this is not a thing. <laughs> I had a feeling she'd come back over here. Bottles in the bin. No, no. Just keep talking. Anyway, <laughs> we're doing a fried chip chicken mukbang. We went to a place near my house. Um, I believe it's called F Hooks Fish and Chicken. And we got chicken. Maybe we'll do, we'll do, I'll do fish at some point, but we did chicken. And so we got their uh, 10 piece dinner. It comes with fries and bread, but that's not why we're here. We're here to try their chicken. And then this is the boneless, their boneless like wings. I like this because this is different than what I thought it would be. It is actually like cut up in this, it's like cut up. I, it feels like it's cut up there. It feels like they cut this up. These wings are also a good size. They're not too big, but they're whole wings. Like they do have ones where they cut them up. I don't want my cut up. I want whole wings. And you can't, like when I went to a Chinese restaurant, I couldn't get whole wings. So that was disappointing when I heard that. Yeah. So this is on Pulaski and Roosevelt. And for the first time, my sister's trying toffee grapes, which are really big out here. And I was like, oh, the first time I had them, I was really happy. Um, they sell them in a lot of different places. I think they get them from one or two main places in in Chicago. She was about to jump on the table. Our babies are oh, there she funny. Is. Oh, there um, she is. And so, do you want to like take care of that while I finish describing this? I'll be right back. So sorry, I feel like as every always, video, every video every is you video. stepping over. I, this time it's this not. Mic. This time it's not for water. And let's tell you why we got water this time and we're trying the uh canada dry blackberry ginger ale put that right there. yeah put that right out of, out of sight we're trying the canada dry blackberry ginger ale and we have five different sauces that are kind of quote unquote meant for fried food we have and one's a surprise to my sister she doesn't know what it is yet but she's gonna know when she tastes it so i um so i'm gonna tell you four of the five we have the cutie q sauce we have the dash sauce we have uh one that i make that's chicken uh, sorry that's um that uses uh, regular Hellman's mayo and then Kewpie mayo so with good. garlic, but I changed, I used fresh garlic this time, and white pepper, which is based on, um, so Mark and James, when he was talking in one video, he said his mother made a mayonnaise sauce with garlic and pepper, um, and I was like, oh, well that sounds great, and then when I put the Kewpie mayo, I was like, this sounds even better, so this time I use fresh garlic, normally I just use regular garlic, and of course the Jasper sauce, which I know doesn't look like it's mixed up on the side, it's mixed up. Um, with yellow mustard, I usually use honey mustard, but yellow mustard, and the fist sauce, Fifth sauce is a mystery. So you want to taste the grapes first? I really do. Okay. Will you eat one with me? Okay. I'll take this one. I'll take this one right here. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, good. That's really good. Do you like green grapes? I usually don't. Because I feel like they're not sweet enough. Yeah. No, with the, I think they go well with that. I feel like other grapes would be too sweet with the toffee. So we're putting this off to the side because, yeah. haha, it's time to try these drinks. Good. Okay. And then we'll know if we need water right after. And I put the water in a bucket this time. So I don't have to step over the camera, but I ain't up stepping over the camera anyway. Honestly. And I'll pour this because it's a large. Um, not a lot, though. I love ginger ale, but I don't know. You can't even trust Canada Dry these days. Can't trust anything nowadays. Thank you. All right. And they put lemon pepper on it. Mm. Oh, does it smell good? It, it smells, smells good. It smells really good, actually. Blue Dale smells good, too, for a second. Shut up. Oh, this does smell good. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that one was a winner. Ooh. That was a winner. Hold on. Ooh, it burns. It's very strong. <laughs> like, the carbon in this is very, like... But this is good. Oh, this is really nice. Mm -hmm. You want more? Yes, please. At first, it hit me, and I was like, I'm not too sure, but then once the carbon went away, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. good. I feel like it reminds me of something I've had before, but I I'm can't quite... I'm thinking but I can't think of what it is. Ooh. You okay? I'm fine, and this time, we, we have, have a napkins. pile of napkins. Not just yeah, they were very generous with the napkins. Yeah, they were very generous with the napkins. Um, I asked them to fry the wings hard um, for two reasons. One, we had, to, we had to go a few places before... The food was ready. Yeah. And we were ready to pick it up. And then yeah. second was because we had to arrange stuff first. So mm -hmm. we didn't want it to sit and get soggy. Mm -hmm. Did you want to check real quick? Sure. While I... It is cold. We have a window open.
Hey, sorry, there was this weird glare coming in because the sun's setting. So we had a fun time adjusting the everything. <laughs> and then now what we're going to do is try the sauce. So this is the cutie key sauce. I know because it's darker, it's a ketchup based one. This is the Dame Dash sauce. It has green onions in it. This is the one I make, which is not good for seafood, but really good for chicken. Uh, this is the mystery one over here. And then this is the Jasper sauce. Really scared about that mystery one. Not scared, but like I'm excited. You want to try it first? I do. Okay. So she's going to try that. I know what it is. I know you know what it is. You made it. All right. What do you want to try? You want to try the chicken or you want to try the boneless chicken? I'm going to try the boneless chicken. Okay. Let's go for this piece. Just, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just an inspect. Can I smell it? No. Okay. Okay. What does it taste like? Good. What does it taste like? Tastes like mustard? Tastes like. I feel like. I'm trying to think about what exactly. Taste it just by itself, real quick. I mean, our hands are clean, we're fine. Okay. Where are they weren't? That's not muffled enough. Tastes like something I've had before. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that? I can't think about it right now. Oh my god, it's Wendy's! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> this is the Wendy's honey mustard sauce. I make it. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry that part got loud. Because I'm like, it tastes familiar. But I can't think of it off the top of my head. Anyway. Like, um, we're going to. It like mustard. Though. I'm going to take it off. Okay. Taste the cutie cue sauce with the chicken. Here. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna keep. I'm gonna eventually pass you. Something. Chicken is good. Yeah, yeah. I tasted a little crumble. I was like, I like that. But yeah, the chicken is good. It's not greasy. It's crisp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's it taste? It's super chicken. Okay. Give me a You really need to have it better. I mean, yeah, whatever. You don't really have to have it better. You can take your time. I don't know what lids went to what. That's all right. Yeah, exactly. It's not. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so that was cutie cute. We've had the Wendy's. We're gonna eat some wings. Don't worry, huh? I had sulfur. It's good too. All right. I was supposed to try it by itself. Let's try them. Yeah, try chicken by itself. These are good. Okay, I'll try the Dame Dash one. This is a Dash sauce. It doesn't have ketchup, but it has green onion. And I was like, <coughs> I love me some scallions. So. Mm. And the only difference is so. Like I've said before, my doesn't my sister doesn't eat spicy stuff. Unless it was a spice blend like Cajun or Creole seasoning, it was just by itself. I, I mean, if it was like sriracha or hot sauce, except for the the um, Jasper sauce, or I call it Jasper sauce. It's probably it's probably on the DMV, so I've probably explained it to you before. But um, mm-hmm. I like the Dash sauce. There's all kinds of sweet chili sauce in it. Um, okay, good. Did you try the dash sauce yet? I don't know why I'm having a hard time swallowing. Mm, maybe you should drink while you're eating. I did. I'll do it again. Okay. Is it easier? Yeah. Cause so when they fry the chicken hard, that means that <clears throat> excuse me, they just fry it longer, meaning more water is out of the the, the the meat. That's how things fry. Um, so what's happening is it's drier. But I'm okay with it being drier because it was in bags. They put them in like oh so god. Yeah. I like I like that a lot. Um, that is one of my favorite sauces for this one. Um and I haven't you know something I didn't even dip mine in the honey mustard. 
I should have known too because it looks exactly like it. Anyway. And this is the one I make with fresh, I made this with fresh garlic this time. Mm. Mm. I love that one so much. You can smell it. Well, this one's, it's, it, I said like it's a little different because the garlic's fresh. I love we're not trying it with the chicken, the main. The main mm. reason for this. Was the chicken wings, and I'm glad they're whole chicken wings, honestly. And this one's actually thicker than the other sauces. Like it's much oh. thicker. Tell me what you think with the fresh garlic. Because okay. like I said, normally I use garlic powder, I use like a heaping teaspoon. Mm. Well, that has a bite to it because the garlic's raw. Oh, wait for that bite, baby. Oh, I got it. Oof. I love the taste of fresh garlic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We think it's finished with all the time. Mm. Oh, that white pepper, too, is a cook. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's what it reminds me of. Um, yeah, when we get ajo. So. And I love to pile garlic on. And now we're going to try it with um, the gas for sauce. Yeah, I know the sides don't look mixed, but the middle's mixed, and that's what matters. <laughs> You ready? Oh. I'm double dipping. <laughs> it was funny. Why are you like this? I don't know. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, welcome. Didn't we get two orders of these? Mm hmm. That's two orders. It was six pieces. And we've been like splitting a bunch up. So I think they mean six pieces like this and not six pieces like this. These Which some places, pieces? some places would count those as either pieces or nuggets or something, but mm -mm. Okay. they also may have split up, split off the main piece during cooking. So. And like I said in another video, I normally make this with honey mustard or a honey Dijon mustard. This is the first time I've made it with yellow mustard, which is how he made it in the video. Okay. Delicious. You're gonna be so mad, but I'm gonna need you to get and close that window over there because I'm freezing. So it's a nice day today in Chicago, but it's very windy. And even though the light is coming in, not enough light is coming in to count and warmth to counteract the wind because it is very windy. It is so windy that the wind chill is probably 10 less degrees than the degrees out here. You know, it's, it's just not. So when I'm outside in the sun, it's fine. When I'm outside in the not sun, it's not fine. And if you see us wearing outfits that are similar, we wear clothes sometimes just to do mukbangs. I've said this in my other round of videos, but yeah. So what would you say are, I say there's five sauces here. What are your top three of five for the fried chicken? Top three of five? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like the garlic one that you made. Mm -hmm. I love that one so much. Um, I really like the Wendy's one, mm -hmm. the honey mustard. And which one is that one right there? This one? One, that one, right there. Mm hmm mm hmm It's the dash sauce. I love the dash sauce. Okay, yeah. I really do. What about yours? Yeah. You know what? I uh, Yeah. Uh, I think it's the same. I like this with honey. Um, with honey. honey mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to sleep the crap out of this. Because one, I made, a, I made a lot for a reason. Like this, I mean, they all last for a decent amount of time. But I didn't want to make too, too much of any of the sauces because we're trying so many in, in so many videos. Yeah. Mm. I like the dash sauce. Mm hmm. Mm. It was really good. Mm hmm. Mm. The only reason, well, this has hot sauce. The um, Jasper sauce. I didn't even taste that. Because it's only a little bit. It's only like two tablespoons. Like for the amount of uh, that I made, it's about two tablespoons. And it uses sugar, so. Oh my goodness, this was really good. I'm really enjoying this and I can't remember what it tastes like. I can't, I just cannot think of what it tastes like besides good. It smells like something we've had before too. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm saying, like, we don't really, I mean, they don't make a lot of blackberry drinks. They don't. You know what's funny? In the videos when we did, um, which videos are the muscles video when we did the pineapple passion fruit brisk and the white cat and the Wendy's oh no white castle <laughs> Wendy's that the white castle video 
where we did um one second <laughs> where we did um the uh, the uh, other brisk we couldn't we didn't finish them on camera this is getting finished today oh i mean i also want some water because it's just i mean listen that's how i drink my drinks all right there's no need to water shame anybody at this table i'm not people put ice in their drinks i'm just saying like if people can put ice in their drinks i can most certainly put water in my drinks and cut i'm just saying i didn't think you'd need water this time it's still sweet <laughs> it's good it's just so sweet so and it's funny because after this we're actually going to go see a movie because we're filming on a tuesday <sighs> Oof. It was good. I'm gonna have another grape. You want another grape? Yes, please. These are so good. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> These are really good. I feel like the taffy and the peanuts remind me of something I've eaten before. Like with the candy, but I don't remember what. Like a Charleston chew? No, no those have chocolate. Um, like a baby root or a payday or. Closer to a payday. I'm about to say probably like a payday. Because mm. the payday is like nougat, which is similar. Similarly. I love nougat. Yeah, nougat's good. So, <clears throat> finally getting these chicken wings. <laughs> I was just thinking about them too. Like, it's been a while. And they put lemon pepper on them. I'm going to say, y'all do back home. Back in New York. Oh, look. You can see the carbonation popping up. <laughs> I like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These grapes are really good. Mm, I forgot to take my activated charcoal. I'll take it later. So... Um, one, I don't really eat a lot of fried food, so you won't see a lot of fried food on the channel. I know we're doing a fried seafood mukbang, but... That's um, going to be one of the biggest things there is. Yeah. I just want a few. So it's this one, that one, and then on my main channel, I'm doing a recipe for Cheetah's Walnut Chicken. So, um... That's good. Walnut Chicken is really popular at places like Panda Express and other places, too. Um, it's deep fried. I don't deep fry anything, so. I think like everything else from scratch, but the chicken, I just popcorn chicken instead. I have chicken, shrimp. Sorry, I want shrimp. We usually have more to talk about. We usually talk about our day, but our day kind of just so started too. But not just that, like the food is, the food good. is good. This, I really like the chicken wings. Like, mm -hmm. I really like the chicken. Me rice. too. I will definitely be going back here. It's not a far walk. It's just far when it's cold. So it was a little too windy for me to walk. So you just like the bus. <laughs> it's three stops on the bus. And if anybody's out here in Chicago, you know the bus stops can be far from each other. Because um, the blocks are really long. Mm -hmm. So in New York, the streets aren't very long. The avenues are long. But out here... <laughs> Each street is like an avenue. Or the streets with numbers are like avenues because where I am, the streets with names are shorter. Interesting. I want some water. Here, did you finish here? No. Like, I kind of just like want water. We don't got more cups, man. I'm just water falling. No, <laughs> I'm not going to just pour water in your mouth. That's weird and it's not going to work. Because they're both clumsy. Look, I'm not clumsy when it comes to that. I'm serious. I'm pretty good at that. Okay. One time for your mind. Here you go. Thank you. I got that bottle from Ikea. So good. Actually, Mom got it for me. She got me like 15 of them. How long ago did you get this? Uh, a year or two ago? I think they still sell them. They're like really popular. I don't know if they ship them though because they're glass and they're really fragile. But mm -hmm. I think they were like two no, they were three dollars. It's okay. It's a good price. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I like glass things, but it's kind of hard when you're like they a bull in a china shop. That and it starts to rack up because it can be expensive. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got the glass bowl. These are plastic. Oh yeah, so we went when we went to Costco. When we went to Costco, they had a sale this month. I was actually talking to my sister because I got these. These are Anchor Hawking. I got these. These are four cup Anchor Hawking. I got these from Walmart. I think a little less than four dollars each. Anchor Hawking is a really one of the really good brands. So Anchor Hawking. Ball is a really good brand for glass stuff, primarily mason jars. Um, okay. Um, and so is Pyrex, of course. So these for me are like, um, there's just another one group of people who make mason jars. I cannot remember their name to save my life. Um, so I could do it. Mm-hmm. So I can't remember their name to save my life, but they also make glass, and it's really good. So. The sale was, they had two four cup, um, glass jar, glass cups with lids, glass bowls with lids, and two seven cup ones with lids. I think mean, the initial price is eighteen. They were on sale for thirteen, mm-hmm. for for them, and you could only get five, so I got five. Um, so I got them, and that sale happens every once in a while, every few months. So it oscillates, I guess, between summer and winter. <coughs> She was so happy when she got her. Mm-hmm. Like you could just tell she was super. She's like, "Yay, I got them!" And for a good price too, to mm-hmm. be honest. That's really yeah. I wasn't nice. paying what some people were paying for that. I'm like, not because the Costco store and the website have different prices for some reason. I don't know why. Christian wondering, yes, I chew the bones from the tail, from the tip. Okay. Because I just heard it, and I was like... What was that? Me crunching on the bone. I don't feel like these need too much of a sauce. They don't. We stand alone on it. Oh, God. Hooks of fish and chicken. I really about... In Pulaski. Yeah. Because I was like, it tastes good with sauce, but honestly, since they already have seasoning on them too, they don't really need it. Yeah. And part of me wonders if they put the lemon pepper on before or right after. Because, like, it's still, like, you can see it really prevalently. So, yeah. Really good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wipe my hands. i my face. I keep getting stuff on my nose. Like I feel it. Like yeah, something right. will pop up on my nose. Go somewhere. There you go. I wouldn't even felt that. So, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. Delicious. So good. You need the tips. Mm-hmm. And the tips are clean. That is important. Whenever I go to certain restaurants. There's Sometimes so the tips hair. have a lot of hair on them. I hate that, personally. That's kind of why I stopped. I used to eat tips every once in a while. But since a lot of places that I used to go to had hair on them, it kind of prevented me from doing it. So mm-hmm. even if they don't have hair on them, I just got used to not eating them anymore. Mm-hmm. That's kind of why. There's actually a place, I'm not going to name no names, because I've never been there myself. I saw pictures on Yelp. Popular chain. They have, t- they have hair on... The drum and because the that's drum is the drum is this part and the flat is this part. They have hair on the other parts. I'm like that's, that's disgusting. lazy and gross. <laughs> Ooh, People yeah. still eat from there too. Mm-hmm, I guess they still eat them. Some people, I think. The thing is, it depends on what you're willing to settle for. I'm not willing to settle for anything. <clears throat> it's funny when I eat the tips I don't eat the skin on because I don't like the skin of most things um, I wouldn't eat the skin I would eat the bones in it and the meat in it there's not a lot of meat I put out because I like chewing on okay. bones I like biting into marrow yeah <clears throat> like if this chicken was bigger I would be able to bite into the um 
bone and chew the marrow. The way I eat chicken is a little weird because instead of just biting into it like most people, I take the skin off and then I eat the meat mm. and then I go back and eat the skin. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, if I went back to eat the skin, I wouldn't eat it. The only reason I eat the skin of most of these two is because, again, since they're fried harder, the skin is bonded closer to the meat. So if I didn't get the skin, I wouldn't get any meat either. See, oh, so it's like I take it, and then I would just take the skin off, and then I would just. I'll eat the meat inside and then eat the skin. Mm. Mm -mm. I've been for years now, actually. But then sometimes it stops me from eating the skin because I'm full or I'm just not interested in the skin anymore. Exactly. I really just want the meat. I was like, where's the necklace over here? That's true. <clears throat> Oof. Yeah, no. I have to edit so many videos. And the funny thing is, so when you edit videos, so remember I told y'all I do my stuff in six month blocks. The good thing is I have <laughs> six months to edit. The bad thing is I pile them up and it takes forever, so I'm trying to stay on top of it. I don't do much editing, if you've ever seen many of my videos. I don't do very much editing. I'm not really big into overly edited uh, work as an aesthetic. I, I like good. Even the documentaries I watch, I mean, I like so many different types of documentaries, but... I get it, though. I'm not too heavily into over editing either, personally. I feel like it kind of takes away. But not only that, I don't like when there's so many cuts in between. I don't like when you can tell. I hate. There are these people. Know. They make videos. I didn't even know they had cuts. They're like, oh yeah, we spent all the time editing. Editing what? Like well, the transitions are so smooth. Even like when the camera dies, like that camera dies. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. That camera dies. That camera will die. Two to three minutes. Mm -hmm. I do three times a video sometimes. Yeah. And I never knew why. Come to find out, it's because they're actually filming longer videos and editing it down. And I'm like, that's cool. It looks so, it looks so natural. That's why when videos they have burps or whatever in them, keep that it. I want, like, again, I, I've said this before, I want to have that experience of eating with somebody. And that's how you get that experience. That's just, that's just <laughs> skin. See, that's all like this now. skin. I don't want that. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, I'm eating my burping. Smacking. I feel like I've eaten three to your two. I have. I'm going to say you might have. You know what I'm going to talking about? But, uh -huh. I'm not going to finish this now. I'm going to eat this later with some other stuff. Two, we ate before this. Not, not directly before this. Two, three hours? Three hours. We ate like 11. I think that's probably also why I'm going to say like, eight, then drink, and then I had ice cream right before it. Oh, yeah, she had ice cream. I did. I had a push pop. Mm hmm. I don't know why. Pop. So, Delicious. ate that, and after that, got on the bus, moved on the bus, fixed it up, went straight to eat it. So, mm -hmm. that's kind of why. <laughs> but this chicken is really good. I didn't have a push pop. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have a push pop. I was trying to ask her if she wanted some machine on me. Ow! My hair is stuck on the chair. What? My hair is stuck on the chair. I don't. Got it. Okay. I didn't say anything. You said okay, and with some type of something in your voice. These are good at clearing your palate, too. They are. Kind of really opened me up. They are good. Mm -hmm. Hands up, hands down. Taffy grapes are good. Don't worry. This is a scam. Again? I get a lot of them. I hate those. But this is what I do. If you have an iPhone... <sighs> no, sorry, I'm sorry. If you have an iPhone, they have a thing where you can just block... So I just block this caller so that scam caller will not be able to call me again. And then delete it off my missed calls list so I don't accidentally call them. Have you ever accidentally called a scam person back? Not all the way. Like, I'd be trying to call somebody else and it would hit that. 
because I was scrolling and then I hit the name and then it went to the next thing. So yeah, I just delete it. Just why well, would I also have that clogging up my phone log? You know, makes no sense. <clears throat> Does it slow down your phone if you have too much stuff in your call log? I have no idea. I just don't want them there. Oh. That's how I feel. It is. You right. I'm great. This was great. I kind of forgot the bus. I don't know what bus we're taking. Well, I know what bus we're taking. I just... Oh, we gotta time it. Something's an hour. Uh, something, something. I'm not gonna tell what time it is. It's weird. I'm just kidding. I'll tell you after we get... <laughs> after we're done. I'll tell you what time it is later. All right, fine. Oh, man. Oh, man. I definitely gotta burp. But this is good. This is great. We about half of what we started with. Wow. Honestly, the chicken was a lot better than I thought it would be. I'm telling you. So this is what makes me so nervous about the fried food out here. The oil. I don't know what oil they're frying in or what temperature or whatever. <laughs> like some place. Excuse me. There's a place closer to the house. And you'll see it when we take the bus later today. I got some from there. Oh, God. It was awful. Um, then we also got the chicken wings from the Chinese restaurant. One, they were bigger, but they were cut into pieces. So they counted this as two pieces and not mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And the oil, it tasted weird. I was like, what did it taste like? I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird because I like, I know oils generally have a flavor. It's a vegetable. It doesn't really have a flavor when you cook with it. But could you also minimize the, the flavor? flavor exactly. Like I want to taste the food that it's been cooked in. So... I don't know, it just tasted weird, not like I'm used to, but I, I mean, maybe they're using soybean or a blend of oils or something, and there's just something in it I don't like. I can't tell. Canola oil, I can tell when things are fried, and so it might be canola oil, but I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Oh, so you done? I think I'm done. All right, cool. You want to go? Yeah. Okay. All right. We will see you. The next one. In the next one. And we're gonna go finish that can of dry. We're definitely finishing this can of dry. Okay, I'm not gonna fall this time. You, I really hope you don't. Got it. Bye, peeps.